Hi friends, we have a new feature. You can now create beautiful digital planner covers like you see here. We have them in many different colors and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add them to your digital planner. So let's get started. Here I have a pre-made digital planner. So if you have one on your end as well, you can also open it up. Um, this tutorial will be for just one page digital planner. So usually you can choose between a two page planner, which has a left and a right side, or if you're creating a one page planner like this one here. This one page planner can also be horizontally. So if you go to the sizing menu and you choose to select the landscape version here, you can also create digital planners with the landscape layout like you see here. And if you want to learn more about how to create these type of planners, you can also check out our YouTube video on how to create one page landscape planners. There should be one. So back to the digital planner, let's say you have something that looks like this with multiple pages and you would now like to add an additional cover page to your digital planner. What you can do is you can open up the multiple page menu here on the sides. You then want to scroll down and click on select pages. Then here you want to go to an empty page and you want to click to at the top. So once you do that, it will now add you a new empty page to the top, which you can use for the cover. So if you now go back and check on the very first page here, you see that um, this, was the la this was the page we had previously and it now has added you a new page to the top right here. Now, if you want, you can remove all these widgets here. Um, the fastest way would be to go to layout, click on one, insert a one box right this, and then you want to click here on edit layout. By clicking here on edit layout, you will um, be able to further adjust the template. So you can click here, set it to on, now you can click on this widget here and you can click in the middle to remove the widget like this. Now to remove the text up here, you can go to text, H1, have both selected and then you can click here to deactivate the header. And now you should have an empty layout that looks like this. If you also have a footer like I have here, you can simply just remove it like this. And then what I also recommend you, what you can do, but you don't have to, is if you want, you can also remove the tabs here on the sides. I will leave them for now, but we'll also show you how you can remove them. Now to add the cover to your template, you want to go to sticker, and then you want to type in digital planner cover. So it's this collection you see right here. And in this collection, we have added many different kinds of new covers. Um, previously, we had these traditional covers like you see here, they look more like binders, but the ones we have added now, they look more like book covers or notebook covers. And you see, we have many different kinds of colors you can choose from. So just choose a color you like. I will go for the blue color, um, maybe this one right here, this light blue one here. So you want to click on it um, to insert it as a sticker like you see here. And then you might need to zoom out of the planner by uh, zooming out here. You can click on the minus button to make it smaller. And then you want to extend or enlarge this um, cover sticker like this. Make it big enough so it covers the entire page. And it's possible it will take a few seconds to load because it's quite a large file. We intentionally made it bigger so it can preserve the high quality and details of the covers. So just be a bit patient and let it load. If it takes some time, then you really want to make it very big, just so it's big enough um, to cover the entire field like this. Okay, so here we go. Now if we zoom in, you see here the tabs are still showing. If you would like to show the tabs, then that is fine. If you do not want to show the tabs, then you can go back to planner mode. You can go to layout and to the digital planner menu. And then here you want to uh, just remove the tabs. So here on the right side, you can just simply delete all the tabs. And then you can also make the gap here smaller. So this gap is called outer padding. So you basically want to set the outer padding to zero. So now there is no padding in there anymore. You can switch back to sticker 
And then now you can move or make this cover a tiny bit larger and then drag it into the middle to fill out the entire field, just like this. Now next, you can also add an elastic to your digital covers. You can add them in any color you like. Um, I will keep it the same color, so in the same light blue color. So I will add this light blue elastic and then again, make it quite big, just like this. And then you can add it or place it anywhere you like. And you can also play around with the colors and try different color combinations. So once you have the cover created like this, you can also add a text on top. And you would do that by still having sticker mode here selected. Then you want to go to widget and then you want to select this custom text right here. So click on it. This will add you a text to the front like this. From here, you can click on this AA icon right here to pull up the font menu. Here, you can select a new font. Um, I will select maybe, let's go with this font right here. Then you can click on back. And here in this window, you can type in a new text. For example, 2024 and make this text font bigger. I'll set it to 100 like this. Then I will copy this text and paste it again. So up here you can click on copy and paste. So now I have a second text and in here I will type in digital planner like this. I will make the font a tiny bit smaller and I will reduce the uh, line height between these two words. So here under line height I'll set it to 90% like this and maybe make it even smaller the font if you want you can now also change the color so if you like this dark black color you can leave it as is by the way you can also play around with the um, with the font thickness so here if you click on this b icon it will make it smaller like this so feel free to play around with the thickness of the font and then here under text color, you can also choose a new color for the font. And what I have found is nice looking is when you set it to white and then when you reduce the opacity of this font. So here up here, you see there is a text color and the color code for the white color is hashtag FFFFF. Now, if you, for example, type in an additional number at the end, for example, number 50, like this, you will see that it will make the font more transparent. So basically the last two numbers you add to the font code is related to the opacity of the color. So for example, if you want to just have it set to 90% opacity, you can type in here 90, oops, 90 like this. And now the opacity is 90%. So by setting it to 90, you will see that the texture of the digital cover background will still peek through and it will give it a much more neutral um, look to the, to the overall digital planner. So you can repeat the same with the text down here below. Type in white and then type in 90 at the end. Okay. And your cover should look something like this. If you want, you can also play with the line vector. So here is a line vector. If you want, you can also add this line. You will have to make the thickness uh, bigger or thicker like this. You can even make it more thick. And then again, I think white looks the best. Just type in white, opacity 90, and there you go. And then from here, I would recommend you to just play around with the font size, with the fonts itself and see what you can create. You can also just create digital player covers um, in different colors and stylings and then um, just sell the covers themselves. So you or your customer can then um, choose which cover they like and then manually add it into their planner. So I've seen many do this as well. 
So here is your finished digital planner cover. And again, it works the same as for the other size. So if you were to change the sizing to a landscape version like this, then you can just simply click here and you will have to uh, click again on the cover and you will probably need to make it a tiny bit bigger so we can fill out the entire length of your cover like this. And then you probably will need to, again, remove this gap here on the sides under planner, layout, digital planner and reduce the outer padding again like this. And this is how you'd make the, la um, the covers for a landscape version. So quickly showing you again, in case you just would like to create a digital player cover itself, without the digital planner, create a new template, go to layout, digital planner, click on on like this, select if you want it to be a one page, a single page or a double page, then you don't want to have any tabs here. So outer padding set it to zero, and then click on edit layout to remove the internal widgets. And now you can just go to sticker, then again, search for the digital planner cover. And then you want to insert um, the cover like we did before and make it bigger. Just the same step as we did before. And then once you have finished creating your digital planner cover, you can just go to save export digital and then have selected page selected. So you're exporting just this one page, then click on generate PDF. And this is how you would just export the digital planner cover on its own. Okay, so then you can click on download PDF and this is the finished cover page. So feel free to create these cover pages in many different kinds of colors and then you can also pack them all into one product and sell them as a bigger bundle with different kinds of covers your customers can use. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye.